So to keep them in a good mood, we give them a little extra entertainment while they're waiting. And uh, it's going to be kind of fun. So anyway, to start off, I'd like to bring out a brother to tell you a little story. Here he is, Wayne Osmond! <laughs> well, listen, I got a little story to tell you, okay? It's a story about uh, Cinderella, who lived in a big park, Dallas, with her mean old Mepstother <laughs> and her two sissy Uglers. <laughs> and they made Cinderella do all the wordy dirk while they sat around uh, cheating ocklets and magging redazines. <laughs> And one day while Cinderella was in the kitchen, flopping the moor, the two sister egglers came in and said, Guess what? The Prince of Hints is throwing a bancy fall, and we're invited. It's too bad that you can't go. So Cinderella went back in the kitchen with the uh, ears in her ties. And she was just about to chick a see a frickin' when suddenly there was a blinding flash of flight. And standing beside her was a feudable berry. And Cinderella says, Who are you and what do you want? And the feudable berry says, Well, I'm your berry Fudgather. <laughs> so Cinderella says, May I go to the ball? So the fairy waved her magic wand, and instantly, Cinderella was transformed into a dabsing booty. <laughs> so uh, Cinderella says, No, nope. now the fairy says, You may go, but you must promise to be mown by midnight. And so she was off, and soon she cast to the camel. That's came to the castle. <laughs> she jumped out, and the first poo people she ran into were the two sister Uglers. But she was so beautiful, they didn't even cinderize Recognilla. <laughs> so they introduced her to the Pransom Hints. He says, may I dab this chance? He was just about to ask for her mare in handage, when suddenly, the straw clarted the track swelled. <laughs> and so she banned from the Rawl. But as she did, one of the sass clippers flipped from her soot. <laughs> now the Pransom Hints picked it up and he says, Aha! Now all I have to do is find the woman who soot this flipper sits, and I'll know with whom I've lolled in fun. <laughs> so the next day he went from house to house, and you can't turn that around. <laughs> <laughs> Soon he came to the sin where House Dorella lived. He docked on the Nor, and who should come but the two sister Uglers. He says, I'm looking for the woman who soot this flipper sets. Well, of course, their beat were too fig. <laughs> and then it was Cinderella's turn, and guess what? The clipper pitted surfically, they were married, and hid lappily ever after. And that's the end of the story of Cinderella. But you see, there's a moral to this story. If you ever go to a Bansy Fall and meet a Pransom Hints, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs> Thank you.